Hello, Johnny from Eurogamer here, and this is Observation, which is a horror game that has reviewed very well recently, so I figured I would check it out. I've deliberately kept myself mostly in the dark, so I don't spoil it for myself, and thereby reduce the delicious, delicious scares, but I understand that basically I will be taking on the role of an artificial intelligence on a space station, helping a woman work out what happened to said space station and the people on it, um, and I will be doing that by controlling uh, the security systems and cameras of the space station, um, which I guess is why it's called Observation. So without any further ado, let's see if you can hear me scream in space after all. Enable voice authentication. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. And that's where I come in, because I play as Sam. Station's artificial intelligence. Voice print errors detected. Oh, do I accept or reject? Uh, well, uh, let's accept this. Great, thanks, Sam. That's good. Come on, give me something. Sam, are you there? Respond. booted up in Module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in Module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. This is cool. I'm into this. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in Module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on Module 9? Safe, power low, 
All's fine. Oh, whoops. So we need to go in there. Hold R. Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from 9 intact? Uh, adjacent contact points? Would that be that? System links in Module 9 are online. That's not important right now. Oh. <laughs> Hurry. Please repeat your previous request. I need diagnostics on the adjacent modules. Oh. I don't know if it's safe to open these doors. She's in 11. Let's have a look at 8. talking about the other modules and the other bits? Possible match, possible match. Let's module try. 9, hull contact points ah, to adjacent modules read true. Good, That's we're still connected. After. Okay, good. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the hull contact points on the other modules? Other modules, okay. Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false, suggesting that Module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in Module 12. Bad news for okay. Josh. I'm coming through to 9. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! <sighs> The controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Oh. Sam, you still there? Uh. What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Sam, what is that? Sam, a response! What the hell is going on? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure I'm working entirely as I'm supposed to. <laughs> Am I a malfunctioning AI? Oh, that was genuinely quite creepy. It's like that Russian frequency station. Oh. Doctor? self-diagnostic procedure. Yeah. And what errors are you showing? That's a good idea, isn't it? God, this is great already. I'm so into this. I'm really actually quite unnerved. Okay. Uh, let's start with the memory core. That seems fairly important. an artificial intelligence with memory cores, but even I know that degradation of 87% and up is not a good thing. The main memory core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. 
so most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Let's have a look at this. Network check. Okay. Relocation functions are offline. I require auto-routing to access module cameras. Okay. I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. I wonder who the voice actor is. I think she's very good. She sounds a bit like Olivia Coleman, actually. Anyway. Connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in central. Josh? May? Anyone? For sure, I think you're on your own. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from Module 9. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in Module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. that stuff. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Are these little stickers? Check the other cameras. Oh, that's cool. What are those? Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Zoom to get closer. Okay. Is that what we're after? It doesn't look like it. Let's try another camera. CO2 refill station. Oh. There we go. Okay. Okay. That should be reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. This one. I love how tactile this is. It's a lot of button prompts, but it all feels like okay. you're part of the system. Now add the EAS 11 airlock hatch controls. Okay, looks like that is working. Now, use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. How do I do that? Oh. Um. Can I just... Ah, open hatch. That's it. It's open. I'm out. Good work, Sam. 
Hello. Let's get this up and running. Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh. I hate these things. Josh, if you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? I think it's just you and me, Fisher. What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Oh, shit. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. Mm -hmm. You can now relocate to any module and view its camera feeds. In the EAS arm, at least. Oh, God, this is... Try it now. Oh, God. Find that fire, Sam. Is it an helix? Sounds more like it. There is a fire out of control in EAS-4. Shit, I'm on my way. Okay. Uh, there goes Emma. That days are missing. Emma? This is so cool. You feel powerful, but at the same time really vulnerable because Emma's all by herself and there's only so much you can do to help. Whee! <laughs> Six is locked down. Can you get it open for me? You're damn right I can. It's open. I'm on my way. Relocate to EAS three. I'll need your help when I get there. Okay. There you are. There. Ah. Controls to your system links, but wait for my signal. Okay. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? No. One. Crap. Two. Three. <laughs> That's it. Come on! Come on, Emma. on in here. Clear these fumes. Okay. Where do the vents live? Environment sensor. That will come in handy in a bit, I guess. Where do the actual vents live? Maybe it was the environment sensor. Right. 
Interact events. There we go. T41. On. That's it. It's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Careful. Something is coming out of the side. What is that? Oh, mate, don't. It's like a thick grease. Don't smear it on yourself. Or oil. Dark red. There is maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Significant stress being applied to EAS 12. Immediate separation recommended. Oh, she's not going to like that. What about Josh? I mean, to be honest, it sounds Please. like. Please. If there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. Gotta do it, Fisher. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. This is getting much worse. Okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, first, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. Uh. 1442413324. Oh, fuck it. No. Sam, come on! Sorry. Authorization 1442413324. Um. Two, nine, zero. Oh, God, that was three, stressful. <laughs> four, one, nine. Got it. Inputting now. Hurry, Sam! Target the jets and push the module away safely. Sam, target what? the jets in the correct sequence. Oh. God, let's see how. Spinning. We've stabilized. Oofed. I think. I think we're okay. Listen, I'm going to relocate you to the external cameras and see if we can get a better view of the station. Or what's left of it. Oh, I'll be honest with you, the whole dark red grease thing she was talking about with something in storage it wouldn't Signals surprise are me. Weak. Distorted. That was a lot of blood. I don't understand. We should be right above Houston. Can you detect any damage, Sam? We must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. 
Just isolated sections. I mean, it doesn't look great either. But I'll take your word for it. God, this is so good. I've realised I'm not talking that much, but it's because I'm kind of gripped and I'd rather... There we go. Rather you get to experience it as well. The RU arm upper modules are badly damaged. The damage seems to be localised to the upper part of the arms. <laughs> That's good, I guess. for any more? There was some on the previous one, wasn't there? Oh no, we're fine. That certainly doesn't look good, but... Um Sam doesn't seem too bothered by it. The CN arm is badly damaged. There is minor exterior damage to module EAS-4, likely due to the internal fire. Yeah, I think we got lucky there. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. you here. It seems. What? Why? Sorry. I don't know. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Wow. I'm not going to lie, I kind of feel like I ought to leave it here even though we've just got to the opening credits because I don't think I want to spoil much more of this game. And I also want to play a lot more of it and scare myself witless. That is just great. Like the tension, the interfaces... Ooh, oh, it's really good. I like it a lot. Um, I'm assuming if you've hung on for this long, then you've enjoyed it yourself. Um, bloody hell, let me know if you'd like to see more, actually, because I might maybe show this to, to Aoife or Ian or someone, or just play it a bit more, I don't know. But that is... That is just wicked. That's one of like the best openings to a game I've seen this year, I think? Or like certainly in a good while. And... Um, I mean, all of this computer graphic -y stuff, that doesn't look encouraging, does it? Um, but hey, maybe Dr. Emma Fisher will be fine in her new life orbiting Saturn. Not sure, but wow. Yeah, really into this. So, um, like I say, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, there are loads more from Eurogamer for you to watch. Uh, they should be on screen now, so do click one of those. Um, God, I'm a little bit unnerved. Um, have a lovely day, and um, thanks for watching, and like and subscribe and all that, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye!